And happy I almost said Tomb Raider Tuesday then I realized it's Monday and now I'm sad actually I'm not sad because today is Assassin's Creed day and today we are starting back into uh hey Yvonne good to see you uh we are starting not back into but we are starting for the first time on stream uh not my first time but first time on stream I am very glowy. Hold on. Let me adjust my ring light. I'm uh, not that white. I mean, I am that white, but I'm not that white. There we go. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we're starting today. Uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. So I hope you all have been uh, have had a good weekend and and have had a decent start to your week. Um, I. 
Well, let's not talk about me. Um, before we get started, let's do actually talk about me a little bit. Because before we get started, let's talk about what you'll find in my link tree. My link tree, which will have links to all of my shit. So, <clears throat> YouTube, where you can watch my VODs a week after I air them. Uh, after I stream them live, I mean. Uh, Twitch, where you can watch them live a week before they're available on YouTube. Fancy that. Um, my Discord, where you can hang out with me and talk to me and tell me how shit I am and how I should play certain games that I don't have or don't have never played before or whatever. Um, my Patreon, which is also listed right there, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, where you can support me directly and make sure that I actually, you know, am able to continue to do this. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, also links to my socials where you can get live updates and, and stuff from me. Um, so yeah, actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, before we get started, please do me a very quick favor. If you do not mind, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, help me out with that algorithm, you know, maybe leave a comment, tell me how I look like trash or something. I don't care. Um, but, uh, yeah, just help me out with that algorithm. Maybe uh, share me to some friends who you think might need to see Assassin's Creed stuff or Tomb Raider stuff or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, that would be very great. I would very much appreciate that. So please do the thing. Um... But, uh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have not got the game up yet because uh, the theme song from this game is one of my favorites. Uh, one of my favorite variations of the Assassin's Creed 3 song. Um, theme song. So... Oh no, our symbol, it's broken. It kind of takes the Ezio's family and remixes it together with the Assassin's Creed 3 theme, which I really appreciated. Well, making it its own thing. I should have hit a button. Yeah! <laughs> Sees the symbol. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, the broken Assassin's Creed thing that rotates into the Templar symbol. So, for those of you who do not know about Assassin's Creed Rogue, Assassin's Creed Rogue was a game that slipped in under... that was released around the same point in time as Assassin's Creed Unity. And slipped in under the radar um it takes place before unity and actually connects to unity a bit um and it didn't get the advertising it should have gotten and so it kind of just went under the radar uh it still uses the same a similar system to assassin's creed 4 and 3 um and continues the and concludes i should say the storyline of the piratical uh, version of the assassins, which is the likes of Edward, Adewale, etc., and bridges that with the colonial assassins like Haytham, or assassins and Templars like Haytham and. Uh, uh, shit, what's his name? Um, Achilles. Uh, and we kind of, so we basically see the start of the colonial assassins and the end of the piratical assassins. The pirate, pirate assassins. Um, and as you can see here, I have already beaten the game 100%. But, we're going to be starting a new game here. And we're going to do it under the name, the Canon the canon name for the modern day character that we play Numskull So 
So basically, this game tells the story of how the assassins kind of fell into the shit that they were when. Blade from the flesh of the innocent. Well, let me pause. Yes. Okay. Before we get into that that whole story, um, basically, this game tells the story of the fall of the assassins from their height uh, from Edward and the victory that was Edward in and Ade and them in four and how they fell to the absolute low that was um, the Assassin's Brotherhood when Achille when Connor found Achilles. It, this is the one, the game that connects that, that bridges that, the, those two games. Hide in plain sight. <laughs> Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the creed, the principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. All right, before we get into that and get into this, let me go into the options. Graphics. All right, resolution should be defined as what my monitor is, which is 2560 by 1440. Do we not have a... Okay, so it's limited to that. Full screen, we're okay with that. Very high. High. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, motion blur off, ambient occlusion, high, god rays on, on, and let's keep V-Sync off. <laughs> there we go. Now things should look a little bit better. Oh, do we have any bonus objectives? No, just apparently kill the assassin. Well, I don't like the firewood at least. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no, that was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but your precious little bit over it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain de la and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting the smugglers would lead to no good? Who knew meeting smugglers would lead to no good? <laughs> well, well. Let's do a little bit of running around first. Check the map. By the way, Yvonne, how am I sounding? My, is everything sounding good on your end? Any audio adjustments or anything I need to make? Sound good? Any visual adjustments I should make? Other than, you know, hiding my face forever? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Have we reached have we reached the quota for my uh self the self-deprecating comments yet? Past the quota for my self-deprecating comments. Well, I'll I guess I'll better stop then. Or I'll have to start borrowing against tomorrow. Oop. 
Careful, Shay. There's a shanty there. Was right in front of me. Good. I was hoping. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you in case you fall down and hurt yourself. <laughs> I love their banter so much. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Shake, come on. One of these days, Yvonne, I really need to just sit down and knock out that fucking uh, Assassin's Creed script that I've been working on. Arctic Wolf. Templar map, Viking sword. I keep procrastinating on it, but I need to actually fucking do it. Every time I sit down at the computer, my brain says, ah, oh, I need to do this, this thing. Like and then everything else says, nah, nah, don't do the thing. This is more like it. Piece of a Viking sword, collect all the shards to discover the location of something, 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 something. Uh, let's go hunt a wolf real quick. That way I don't have to, oh, okay, better question. How many wolves do I need to hunt? Ooh, a katana. Ooh, look at those katana designs. Ooh, boy. And then there's the unity sword, but... Ooh, I love the katana design! Ooh, look at that! Pistol sets. Oh, Edward's pistols, specifically the golden pistols. Outfits, we can't get those yet. I'm looking at... Huh. Apparently there's no crafting menu yet, so I won't go hunting a wolf yet. Um... Okay, it wants me to go down here, so let's go that way. Hurry! We best not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick of it. Chevalier. Space, the... Where the hell were you two? We're out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Bien, bien. Bien, bien. I will teach you some manners, boy. 
I would like to be able to move my camera. There we go. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat her wounded. You know it's bad when... You know it's bad when there's infighting amongst the assassins. Now, I will say Chevalier is a fucking prick. He is not what an assassin should be. The whole listen to your mentor without question type of a thing, that is never what the assassins were about. And it just goes to show that every doctrine ever will inevitably end up corrupted to some degree in some way, shape, or form. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. You must lurk. Okay, lurk away. Ooh, I have a Templar map. Oh. Okay, so that shifts that. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Let me change my uh, binds real quick. Uh, controls. Press controls. I want mouse wheel okay there's there's change weapon uh change tool Apparently I can't change that change that. Okay. Well, I can't change it, so at least not at this point. Fine. Need to deal with it. All right. Uh North Atlantic 300 by -143 300 by negative 143, okay. Okay. It's up there. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit, if I can. Yes, over here. Okay. Now, says by the weird tree. Uh, is that it? Is that the tree? Yeah, that looks like the tree. And then there's the arch. Okay. Looks like it's right here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> as little backtracking as I could possibly do, the better, you know? A Templar artifact. They don't stand a chance. Where are you, mate? Now, you bilge rat. Talk before I bash out your brains. Keep an eye out, lads. They're bound to pull out there somewhere. There he goes again. Thank you. Okay, so this does not appear to be near me. Hi. Hi, Liam. Don't mind me. Hi. 
I have to kill all the British guards, okay. at least what? Saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Shake. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. She's a sloop, if I remember correctly. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this. Most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood looks over at Edward and Adewale. Edward is pro honestly, Edward's probably dead by now, but I know Ade is not. Pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the seven seas. I mean, fair. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God, no. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? Silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect, Marguerite. Marguerite was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the swords of fallen warriors. Perfect. My ship! She is not false. Shit! They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, man. No match for better wings to the wind. Oh, Spread her wings to the wind, he says. I love it. Stop there, oh. boy. I'm trying. down my dude your ship's gonna be fine I'm just assuming you don't want to sh me to shoot through your ship to save your ship I'm working on it they got full Lads. 
Chevalier is pleased with us. Yeah, she, it, she's a sloop. The Morrigan is a sloop. A sloop of war. A of modified one, but, a, set, but one nonetheless. Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. So, the Jackdaw was a brig, and... Ade's ship, the one from Freedom Cry. I don't remember what it was. Let me look it up. Um. What the hell did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. No, not that Ade Wale. Assassin's Creed. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an inanimous. Animus, yes? <laughs> you were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad and it's affecting- As a note, uh, as a note, this is not the same character from Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, that one was the noob and he quit, or they quit, uh, relatively shortly after the events of the game. Uh, they took an NDA and quit. Uh, they, um, I think they continued with the initiates, though. The Assassin's, Assassin's Initiates, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, this person is the Numskull, who, uh, is dubbed that by this chick right here. Um... And is another employee of Abstergo Entertainment. Whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? <laughs> I love her. Here, take your communicator. Check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Okay. So, for the record, because I did say I was going to look it up. The Experto Creed, which was uh, Ade's ship in Freedom Cry, was also a brig like... Uh, the Jackdaw. So, in three sh three games that we've played that we play that have uh, that have ships in them, two of them were brigs. One of them was a sloop of war, and this one's the sloop of war. Just for those who care. All right, let me set my phone back up. Okay. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault. In case you're wondering. Rising Phoenix coming soon. What floor are we on, I wonder? What's wrong with me is I'm curious about other shit. There's Melanie. Melanie! What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hire to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! <laughs> go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Okay. Ooh! And Virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. 
To Robert Fraser, CC Aiden St. Clair, Victoria Bebo. I remember Victoria Bebo's name. I don't remember from where. From Melanie. Arno Dorian. Hi, Robert. You come highly recommended, and I'm thrilled to have you oop, oop, oop. in our studio. Please, I'm putting you to work on a special project for me. Your subject is Arno Dorian. His story takes place during the French Revolution. I want you to explore every avenue of his life that you can. The goal is to have a new blockbuster to present to the Abstergo Brass next year. As such, this is super classified. Your direct advisor will be Aiden St. Clair. Uh, you can only discuss the project with Aiden uh, or myself, uh, as you'll probably be logging some overtime in your animus. I've added a mandatory weekly meeting with our psych psychiatrist, Victoria Bebo. That's where I know the name uh, from future stuff. Make sure you're not suffering from any bleeding effect. Welcome to Extergo Entertainment. Don't let me down, ML. Elevators are okay. Mission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Okay. So my question is... I think this is floor number two, which is where we had... Uh, where we were before. Don't have clearance to go in there. Instead of post-it notes, we have little tablets that we go around and collect. Um, hello, AJ. It's looking like we're, we'll be able to use Animus Tech to create a digital version of uh, Moni Madas to finish production of... Uh, blah, 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 blah. My condolences again to your resilient cast and crew. If nothing else, we'll be able to give Monima the glorious send-off she deserves. Okay. That is the symbol of the uh, cult of Juno. I had to pee, damn it! I'm in the bathroom, leave me alone. Uh, but yeah, that is the cult symbol, the cult of Juno. That's the symbol that the uh, uh, sticky notes you collect. We don't talk about Juno, no, no. We don't talk about Juno. Uh, the, uh, sticky notes that you collect to make that symbol, uh, in, at the end of the game in Assassin's Creed 4. Welcome back, Yvonne. Come on, numbskull. Numbskull. He's so impatient, I love it. Maybe I want a snack, okay? I could be hungry. Who knows the last time I ate? Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Real talk, though, I love Violet. She's just great. There's Otto Berg. First, our first glimpse of the man, the myth, the legend. Only somewhat back, your soul is gone. Fair. Uh, there's Shea Cormac. There's Liam and Chevalier. Would you like me to bark for you, Violet? A woo! A woo 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 woo! Sorry, but this is a restricted area. <coughs> this is a restricted area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to go to, into your restricted area, my dude. Calm the fuck down. Can't let you in here. I I'm not trying to go in. Along. I'm walking away. God damn, dude. Calm your shit.
All right. So if I remember correctly, uh, if I'm right, this, damn it, that's not the button I wanted. This is the animus or was the animus that was the noobs animus. If I remember correctly, because I remember it being a straight shot from here. Right around here. Yeah. Yeah, this was the noobs. Somebody else seems to have moved in since they left. And it ain't us, because ours is over the there. Alright, Takasta. Assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader, a man who used his best assassin, Al Dair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar. It is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. And that was Otto Berg's, um, Berg discovers that the old man of the mountain was, it was wise indeed, basically. Otto Berg's uh, musings on certain beings of history. Uh... Uh, you should just get back to your animus. With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. I love Violet DaCosta so much. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. Those are the tablets we've been picking up. Hold that thought, Otto. Jean-Francois Brunet from Melonie. Subject, Loriano Torres. Torres was the governor in uh, Assassin's Creed 4. I don't know how to say this politely, so please don't think this is anything personal or a reflection of you or your work. You're a star, but... I think doing an entire vir virtual fe feature about Loriano Torres is the single most boring pitch that's ever come across my desk. <laughs> Sorry. Youch. So you must have questions about your new assignment or about me. For now, all I will say is that Shay's story contains the answers. Nice find. If it was me, I'd stoop to see if there's any juicy stuff on it, but I might be a terrible person. <laughs> Shay will lead you to a greater understanding. She was talking about the tablet. 
and interrupted her boss to talk about the tablet. All right. Following the Great Purge of 2000, William Miles became the de facto leader of the Assassins. A cunning and ruthless strategist, he trained several agents who infiltrated Abstergo, including Clay Kazmarek and Lucy Stillman. <coughs> In late 2012, I captured William Miles in Cairo and delivered him to Warren Vidic in Rome. Miles' son, Desmond, attacked Abstergo, killed Vidic and Master Templar Daniel Cross. He fled to a first civilization temple in New York. On December 21st, Desmond Miles was killed inside the precursor structure. The grieving William Miles went underground and left the Brotherhood in the hands of Gavin Banks. Banks led a small team across the globe, attempting to rebuild assassin cells. We have confirmed sightings in Kyoto, Moscow, and Paris. Miles resurfaced in late 2013, and we have confirmed his involvement in the infiltration of Abstergo Entertainment Montreal by the assassins Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane. Both Miles and Banks... Which happened launched. in Assassin's Creed 4. Agent Acosta has tasked the Akashic satellite Plexus to sweep the planet for traces of assassin activities. We have yet to locate them. Uh, excuse me. Nathan Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin, that he chose to stay a Templar rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Oh shit, that's um the Prince of Persia. All right. Hey, 
Hey, boss. Calling from Germany? Yes. I am in Essen. Searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, <coughs> Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. Put it in my Discord and we'll talk about you know it later. Think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. Smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you not necessarily next? my Discord, but Cuba. my dis I'm message it to, to me is what I'm trying to say. Message it to me and we'll talk about it later. Thank you. All righty. There we go. Okay. The numbskull is in another animus session, and I have required caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team, hunting Sean Hastings or something. Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in... 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like, using an Animus? I went through the Animai training program. It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Jaeger. You never use a normal Animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man on the Viking raid on Lindsay Farn. 793 northeastern coast of England. Sorry, history nerd. So, <laughs> how was it? It was summer, good sailing weather. The monastery was a center for religious studies, and we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ah, oh, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such a pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. After we're done here, 
Are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. Well, I probably should not have heard that, but oh well. <laughs> um... Okay, I can't get in there, I can't get in there, can't get in there, so back to my base. Not that one, this one. Davenport, March 1752. There he is, good old Achilles. <laughs> Young old Achilles. It has been a long time. And Ade! Achilles. Ade Wale. How go things in the West? Very poorly, I'm afraid. <coughs> Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. <coughs> Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He's a slave of freedom. <coughs> hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened. <laughs> Oh, good old Davenport. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this, but did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake hit? I cannot know. Von Gaudi has not been found. He was a strong maroon, one of Mackendall's best students. Such a shame. <laughs> And that's connecting it to Aveline's mentor, Makandal, who was the... Well, her her mentor was trained by Makandal. Um, but, um, yeah, it's... Uh, they're connecting all the webs to this location. And they're talking about an, the earthquake in Haiti, uh, or an earthquake in Haiti which destroyed, a, which killed a lot of people. So we cannot know if he found the site. Indeed. But if there was a temple on the place, <coughs> I doubt it is still standing. And the artifacts <coughs> that showed the way? Stolen. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They seized the manuscript and precursor box. I gave chase on the sea, but lost their trail when they reached New York. Manuscript and precursor box. The precursor box has been the things that we've been, that we've seen passed around. It started with Xiao Jun, ended up in Adewale, uh, Xiao Jun's hand in Assassin's Creed Chronicles, uh, was passed to Adewale in Freedom Cry, and now it's been back, handed back to the uh, Templars. Consider what to do next. A lot of webs are we being woven. Mistress Hope was looking for me. Well, I certainly hope she was. Ah, uh, you are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity the boy has I love her dress. so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. Uh, 
Let's learn from hope. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Stay low and stick to the brush. I've been spotted. I've not been detected. Patient, though. and you might hit your target. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Nicely done. I am surprised. Stay low and stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. Top form, Shay. Top form, Shay. Hmm. You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> not get a <coughs> so, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. <coughs> Shoot these targets. You can take your time. Not too much. There's more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hit him. You're almost there. <coughs> well done, Shane. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well. Never show it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. <coughs> I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. It's time for the hunt. It's all 
all your senses together to find prey. Now to use what you have taken from nature. There we go. Okay, so I'll take a look at that and do some grinding on that through the course of things. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Davenport Estates. Mm. There's Achilles and his family. I just broke the door to the basement. <laughs> Achilles' bedroom. This is the room that had a lot of the, uh, shit, what are they called? Uh, inventions, the Bre Benjamin Franklin inventions. From Assassin's Creed 3. This was a room that had a lot of the mementos and stuff from Assassin's Creed 3. This room was the room that had, uh, it was the library and it's locked. This room was Connor's room and is probably also Connor's room. Connor being the son of Achilles, not Raton Aketo, who took the name. There's the expert to crede. Get out of the bushes, Shay. Shay. I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous <coughs> gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adewale. I love that Ade and Whoever Achilles were friends. The artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Oh, I failed to complete his thing in under 40 seconds. Fine. I have to do that in my free time.
we have anything else to do here? It does not look so. There we go. Yeah, it does not look like there's a, it's leading me anywhere other than down to the shore. to wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We are now up at Halifax. Halifax, Port Louis, Port La Joy, Port Bayrouge. Okay, and it wants us to go here. We have one lead, Shane. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mackendall, Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscripts. <coughs> this is your mission. But what's yours? To watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. Do much more than earn his trust. Liam, you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course? Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles Connor. is there. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Unfortunately, what we know that's not what happens because the assassins fall apart under Achilles' watch because of we don't know exactly what Achilles did but we know that they fall apart because of Achilles and the decisions that Achilles made Go down deck, sh so, shall we? Go poke around in here. Alright, can't do that yet. Upgrade the ship. More again upgrades. I love that he's got a cannon in his fucking... <laughs> well, when you have a ship as small as the Morgan, you make as much room as you can for combat, you know? Like shit. Fair. Captain's quarters got a cannon in them. Got a couple cannons, one on each side. Alright, let's go ahead and... Could upgrade to those. However, what I'm going to do... Is upgrade to... Okay, so that's four, three, two, two, three, four. And what am I currently at? One, 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 probably one, two, one. Four, two, three, three, four, four, 
four, three, four, three, five, four, four, three, five, five, four, three, four, two, three, four, three, four, three, two, three, four, two, four, four, five, five. Uh, so Alta Ear's sword is the one that's the most powerful in this uh, in this game because that's high combo, high damage, the highest damage and the highest combo combination with almost maximum speed. But until then, let's go with: Do we want high speed, low damage, or low speed, high damage? Let's go with the katana katana and common flintlock three damage three stun one range three 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 five three five three five three this one's the one that's the pro uh, most powerful in the game so yeah we'll go with edwards for now yeah all right for la joy Tinker, ta a tinker Sailor or Soldier Spy. All right, before we do that, let's do some looking around, shall we? As I said before, the least amount of backtracking we have to do, I have to do it, the better. What is this? Get ammunition. Sure, I'll take that. Smoke bombs full, bullets full. Cool. Get the Animus Fragments right here. Uh, there's only two chests and two collectibles at this point. That's one of the collectibles. And there's a chest somewhere. I hear it. Bruh. Up. Oh, fucking. Jay! There you go. Where? Right, there it is. Nope. maybe nope not up in probably yes no nope. gotta be in It's supposed to be right here, so either it's not... I might just not be able to get it yet. Because I think there's a thing that has this door open. So I just can't get it yet, I think. Worry about it later, in other words. Uh, okay, that's good enough. That's all I can do for now. For now. For now. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. 
We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it. I be silly. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Articosti. <coughs> That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. <laughs> He's so rude. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shane. When the time comes, they will end aid and help us fight the Templars. I was to realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. As a note, this takes place in between the time skip. Uh, from... Uh, it, it, at the start of uh, Assassin's Creed 3, right? There's that time skip. There's the time skip from Haytham to, from when you're, Haytham to when you're controlling Connor. Uh, when Haytham arrives in the colonies till Connor is in a, a, a meets Achilles. There's a time skip in there. And this is during that point in time. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry. Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. Le Chasseur. It happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam. What can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I, I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Can't be far now, Captain. English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to fill them. Too much damage, and she'll go down with all souls and all spoils. We can board. When a ship is on fire, it becomes incapacitated. You can either board it or sink it. Hold yeah. fire. Don't want to sink her. Now's the time. Let's board her. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Spires are ours. For the more again. A second, my chat got messed up. Yeah, we're good. Let's just salvage it. between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbor master station nearby. We we'll spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He got as many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But 
But Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, fur say and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. What's on your mind, Captain? Um, looks like I should be able to do both of those, so let's do both. Hull armor and broadside cannons. This is what she looks like at level one. Here's her at level two, level three, level four, and final form. Her final form. Level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, and then her final form. We get, we have the front cannons, heavy shots, mortar, oops. And then we end up with burning oil at some point. And then we do get a ram. And we also get a puckle gun at one point. At some point. And we end up with explosive shot, puckle gun cylinders, etc, etc, etc. Okay. Captain Sprick! We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. It's powerful to us. Hey! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to Antipasti. What say you? Sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Caesar. 
Salt air, open skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom? If you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it. The Templars stick to this continent like tar. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their foot on your neck? Of course not. They're murder bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. We have nothing in common with that, of course. The rough part about this game is that there it is. Shay oh, isn't exactly wrong. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Oh, oh, my bad. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. My bad. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. Yeah, as I was saying. The, the tough part about this game is that it Shay isn't exactly wrong in his opinions, right? Like, he's a little bit mouthy, right? But, like, he's not exactly wrong. Um, <clears throat> but the truth of the matter is by this point in time, the assassins have kind of strayed a little bit. All right. See, there's a viewpoint over here. Let's go there first. Rum here is terrible. Let me see. That's not rum. It's old Delphi. What the devil is that? Whiskey. Now nah, we're not going to do any. Let's just go complete the storyline. So, Louis Joseph, how goes the fur trade? <laughs> not well enough to put beef on my family's plates. If you want beef, raid more British brigs. They're loaded down with barrels. Oh, yes. Their Irish farms yield much meat, don't they? Well, that is smart management. Far better than the locals could do. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium drain. Were there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could get it. Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Okay, let me go ahead and grab this sword because it's right here. If I can find it. Should be right here. This is more like it. All right. Now, it wants me to go here. You know, let's just fast travel there. Save some time.
Now, you may note that I'm not doing as much of the grindy grindy stuff uh, at the start as I was of start of this game as I was at the start of Assassin's Creed 4. And there's a reason for that. And it's because at the start of Assassin's Creed 4, it makes sense story wise that Edward would do all those looting, all the looting and the pirating and the hunting down and the, the fort stuff and all of that that soon. Whereas in this, it doesn't make sense for Shay to be doing that yet. So I have a reason for it. <laughs> that fucking sail's going way crazy. Did you see that? <laughs> <sighs> River Valley, 1752. <laughs> Take a look at the map here. <laughs> this is our open exploration area number two. So we have a river valley and then we have the Arctic area, right? Because this is a sloop, it's able to go in shallower waters. No, we're not. Calm down. Oh, excuse me. The Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Why, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. That's not what I said to do. There you go. There's something in the water. Captain, out of the hell! Give me some speed. Well, if we've any luck. That ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. Who's Thompson and Royal? Washington is running out of his. He's one. Aye. There she is. 
All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading tanker. Looks bad. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados. But I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Short sail! Get off the squall! Bring in top halyards! Pull! Crowd on every inch of sail! Loading cargo! Creep the topsails and gallants! Trim off the wind! Stunts out! That's good! Block A, Captain. I just won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package. And find Washington. Anchor away. Sub block A. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Mount Vernon. in charge of this area are really mucking it up, aren't they? Corrupt politicians, taxis, weak tea. What a collection of arseholes. I saw a giant bird. It's a part of the local wildlife. There are monsters living in our backyard. Why did we choose to live here? You men do you. You there. Get away. Stop. Nothing for you here. A bit insensitive, isn't it? Okay, fine. I tried. I tried. Not very hard, but I tried. Oh shit, reinforcements. starts on the 1st of January now. Bloody politicians! Is there anything they won't do? I can't help <laughs> thinking about those poor devils in Port Oak Prince. Such a threat. Stop! Stop now! Hold you! Oh, 
You saw nothing. Oh, why aren't you doing the corner thing, dude? this A rifle you there stay where you are <laughs> it, it makes no sound thanks for the present Buster Washington <laughs> the air rifle an efficient silent ranged weapon which can use sleeper berserk darts as well as grenades and firecrackers <laughs> so basically it's an air cannon this is a strange surprise not quite what I was expecting now I must find Washington and interrogate him Please. Here you are. Has there been any trouble? Not yet. And we hope to keep it that way. He's a fiend after my shot! Got a clear shot, man! Oh, I've got a lovely clear shot! Ow! Ooh, that hurt. Oh, for the love of. Gonna let them go and investigate. That shanty. All right, let's go back and get that shanty before we progress onwards, shall we? It'll be fine, Shay.
that. Oh hi, you know, and don't me. Prosperity. All right, let's go get that, and then we'll get that, and then we'll get that. Okay. My me just I slipping in through the front door. Washington first, then I'll worry about the artifacts. I'm going to worry about collectibles, then Washington, then artifacts. Here, come help me water these crops. That's a good lad. Help me water these crops. What say you? That's a good boy. See, it's fine. We're fine. He's fine. We're all fine. All right. So that's all the fragments. Go hit that. <sighs> Do we have any wolves out here? No, okay. Make him go to sleep. That I can do this. Fine. Increases the money and resources you receive in various activities. So the more prosperity I have, the more I just earn in general. saw nothing. You all saw nothing. See? Ain't nobody in that garden. Now we complete the mission. Shush.
there. You, you can't just curl up here. Hmm. Where the clusterfuck is this buckle fuck? I'll see nothing. I've been detected. <laughs> All right, I think it glitched anyway because I think I because I wasn't seeing him anywhere, so it happens. <clears throat> All right, let's try that again. Just to be clear, I have already completed the air the area, right? Right. Okay. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. To be clear, do I have the bonus thing? Apparently, I do. My goodness, what a sight! Magnificent display. Well, it seems on business. It's my turn. All right. Um. There you go. That's what I want. He's busy. Fine. He's fine. There we go. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. <clears throat> be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen.
<coughs> My brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready? Which is how George Washington was not a Templar in Assassin's Creed 3. On your voyage. Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Oops. <laughs> He's sounding like me, man. <coughs> or am I sounding like him? I figured that would be the case. She did can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Yeah, he comes and stands right in front of this. He and I really are sounding a lot alike. Plans. 
Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here... <coughs> ...has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you... ...for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Now you go. Oh, damn it. Better hurry. Graham, I hope you brought the ship around. Bitch, get off of me. That's a shit mortar! That's not sported! Excuse me, y'all. God damn. Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. We'll find the objects later. Cheer up, Shay. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. <coughs> Excuse me. God damn. One of these days, I'll be past these allergies or this cold or whatever the fuck it is, but tis not this day. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassinating. We'll do our best. <clears throat> Won't be numbskull. Of course. It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsaid. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Achilles' family is now dead. Lead on the box. 
box. Meet him and Chevalier and some times. Just trying to get out of combat. Leave me the fuck alone, damn it. <coughs> Where am I going? Where does it want me to go? Sometimes you think you gotta somehow expel the demons that obviously live in my lungs. Obvious, like, I mean, you're welcome to try. <laughs> no hope of cheering me up then. He really doesn't like Chevalier. When and I can't blame him, Chevalier is a dick. Could access sites of great power. What does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. Long talk without a Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to well, project words or images. It's like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. Ah, it's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. <laughs> Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? What I need to do is just transplant my lungs. Sent three ships <coughs> to the watery grave. The Giafo nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. Mechanical lungs, you know, Sorry. ones that will never clog Can't or have to be cleared. There. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Go cyberpunk on my lungs. <coughs> <coughs> The puckle gun. Fire! We will join. Shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ramp cut through ice. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. Oh, that's Smith. Close by. Aye, 
He sails these very waters. He may have the three person box. Let's find him. There he is. I have, Most an, I have an ice cutting Maybe ram. Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target is smart. Careful! Destroy the box! Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or rather, to the pirates. We're taking the ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. But he's back on a long voyage. And a chance again. He controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? Out of the way. Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the <coughs> ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. The whole patrol team board is closed. It's an ambush. Halfway you see the other half Smith must not escape. Come on. Get back on board on down the wheel, my dude. I forgot that in this game they allow the crews to board, uh, enemy crews to board me. I forgot about that. I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. There's Smith. He's moving again. No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your demise. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. Look at that beautiful sky. Ah, beautiful. What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. You can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. Nothing more than the last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him.
has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Smith with an air assassination. artifact treasure from those who came before yes it matters not <coughs> some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript and all shall be revealed Yeah, and I have burning oil. Treasure chest over here. Excuse me. Uh. 
Shrapnel grenades and powder keg explosions can break through these ice. This ice. Um. Well, I don't have any shrapnel grenades at this point, right? Correct. So, can we find a powder keg, maybe? This feels very Tomb Raider. Get out of the water. This just in, free being inside of freezing water is bad. Native to totems. Decipher the hidden code behind these native totems to uncover ancient artifacts. Line all lines with the arrows on each end of the pillar. Okay. All right. Well, that was easy. a little naked man. No, it is not a little naked man. Hotum. Yes, Hotum. Okay. Well, I don't have what I need to be able to break through that ice at this moment. So that's all I can do here for now. Okay. I'll have to come back later. It's fine. It's fine. I love doing that. Backtracking. I love to backtrack. Precursor box. Smith's dead. Fast travel. Smith's dead. Well done, Shay. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Ligure Fool. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't oh, much darn. feel like celebrating Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but 
At what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was necessary. But, but nothing. Smith is a dangerous man. A Templar. What's worse, he had the precursor boss. You should be proud of yourself, Shane. Perhaps. We should head for Albany now. James Wardle, the fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to, will be there. The Seagull Wassey reported that James Wardle rooted out many tribes from their ancestral lands. We have proof that he's behind countless massacres. He's one of the most devious and ruthless men in the Congress. He uses the letter of the law to serve his purposes. When the law does not bend to him, he gets lawmakers to bend it for him. Not my word, Shane. James Wardle took Europe. He doesn't care how his actions affect others. Those friendly ships need our aid! Some sort of cargo there, sir! Friendly outpost ahead. Do it for Uh, no. We'll, uh... We'll leave those be and instead fast travel there. All right, now let's turn about. That wind's trouble, Captain Cormac. Leave the fucking loose down. Catch some wind. They're really not. Albany, July seventeen fifty four. Sorry, my mouse wheel needs to be cleaned, so that's what it's why it's having so much issues. All right. Um, let's see here. We could upgrade our cannons, which I'm inclined to do. Oh, we could finally get heavy shot. Um, can't get a mortar yet, but we could strengthen burning oil. Could upgrade our ram. Well, actually, we can't upgrade our ram. We can increase our round shot strength, puckle gun strength, and reinforce the uh, the increase the puckle gun cylinder side. Less amount of time before reloading. All right. Um, my inclination says broadside. And then whatever else, if anything, nothing. Okay. Run bit of business.
Nanya. Don't worry about me. Mind your own noses. Uh, shake! God, I swear to God. Damn it. I could have gotten that, Shay. It's all on you, my dude. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Don't worry about me. Mind your own nose. See? Told you. I'm gone. None yet. We the people. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay. Find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Are you coming? Okay, apparently not. Hello, Ben. Ah, uh, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript. Or knows it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript, Captain? I apologize, sir, but Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mangy excuse for a uniform. 
Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. George, I think we need a stronger colonial government. With or without They do a very good job of mixing Assassin's Creed 4, 3, uh, and a few others in the process. It's, um, while emulating its own feel, it very much feels like it's a bridge between 4 and 3. And while still being its own thing, you know, it does a very good job of that, in my opinion. Now he's doing the corner thing. Uh, eh, I'll leave it alone. All right. I have to kill Wardrop with an air assassination, I believe it said. Yes. There he is. some of the vibes of um liberation if i'm honest ow sorry i decided i did want to go after that chest oh, God. i really need to clean my mouse uh clean my mouse wheel that's getting annoying Just really don't want to have I just really hate taking the time to take my mouse apart and clean you know it's a pain in the ass I guess I'll do that tonight all right we'll kill Wardrop and then we'll call it a night there we'll we'll drop on Wardrop and then call it a night bruh Bruh, Shay, my dude, my guy. Boo! Boo to Jamie specifically. Boo. There you go. There you go, my dude. All right, where'd he go? And don't mind me just dropping in. I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. If everything is permitted, it demands that humanity actually be fucking intelligent with what they choose to do. Even the and devil to... can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. To 
commands us to be wise. Because everything is permitted. We can choose to do whatever the fuck we want. But it requires us to choose wisdom, to choose wisely, and to take responsibility for our actions and our choices. Whereas the Templars would much, much rather have us just blindly follow them in sl through enslavement. I'm not going to worry about this chest just now. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, I... ships over here <laughs> anyway thanks for tuning in as we begin this journey through assassin's creed rogue i hope this has piqued your interest as much as it piqued mine the first time i played it um and i hope that you uh each enjoy the uh journey we've just begun So, tomorrow we'll be continuing Tomb Raider Anniversary, um, and if the creek don't rise and the bridge don't wash out or whatever the fuck the saying is, um, but, uh, I hope you all have had, had a good night, I hope you all have a good week, and I hope you all, uh, have had some fun, uh, hanging out, um, I definitely have. Um, before we head out, though, <clears throat> you should check out these amazing people I have listed up here at the top. I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. Also in the link tree are links, to, as I said at the top of my stream, are links to my socials, my Discord, my Instagram. Not my Instagram. I mean, yes, that's part of my socials. My socials, my Discord, my Patreon. That's what I meant to say, not Instagram. Uh, my Twitch, my YouTube, etc. Uh, so please check out those links in the link tree or just go straight to my patreon.com slash crimson knight to patreon.com slash k-r-i-m-z-o-n-k-n-i-g-h-t uh, Anything that you would like to do would be in regards to that would be uh, great. If not, that's perfectly fine. There's no paywall between you and my content. All of my content will remain free. At least, you know. Yeah, at least mostly free. Like, yeah, there's a little bit of wiggle room in there, but it's mostly free. Um, I mean, y'all like paying for your internet and stuff like that and, and whatever. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, that's it from me for the night. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow we're going to be continuing Tomb Raider Tuesdays with Tomb Raider <laughs> free asterisk. Uh, free in the capitalistic sense. Um... <laughs> uh as i said uh that's it from me for the night um tomorrow we're continuing tomb raider tuesday and we'll be continuing tomb raider anniversary as i already said um so if you want to tune in for that i hope you join me um tomorrow yvonne will also be streaming yvonne b who's been in our chat over here uh she was also listed up here in the in uh right up there um, so feel free to check her out. Uh, Yvonne, if you don't mind doing a shout out for yourself, 
I don't have access to the chat text at the, uh, the chat type typey typey at the moment. Um, so if you don't mind doing a shout out for yourself in the chat, that'd be great. Um, and thank you very much. Uh, but uh, yeah. In the meantime, I hope you all remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.